guys, this is really serious. You need to buy all the seeds because all the seed companies, they're going out of stock. And when they're all gone, their seeds are going to be gone forever. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, even though the intro was a bit funny, this is a very serious video. Today I want to talk to you about seeds. Hopefully by the end of the video today, you guys will know where to buy your seeds, how much to buy and when to buy them. Make sure that you like this video, share it with a friend and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So why the crazy intro? Why am I getting your attention with this? Why am I sharing this video? Well, you need to buy some seeds now and here's why. A recent article came out saying that seed buying and first time seed purchasers have actually gone up 75%. That 75% of the world's population is now buying seeds for the first time or buying seeds in general and stocking them, storing up on them instead of buying plants already sprouted or already halfway grown and then putting them in their garden. Baker Creek Seeds, that's one of the seeds we're gonna be talking about today, one of the companies I'm gonna share with you about today. Um, their bulk seed uh, website has been under construction for over 10 months now. Also, another fact is MI Gardener, another seed company we're gonna be talking about today, had to double the price of their seed packet. Now, I can only speculate, but I'm, ass I'm assuming that that's due to all the new regulations to keep everybody healthy and to stay afloat because, you know, it's a small business. So if those were alarming facts to you and you're thinking about buying some seeds now and you haven't thought about buying seeds before, I want you to stop, pause, and in the comments write seeds now if you're going to be thinking about or making it a priority to buy some seeds. So today I'm going to be sharing with you five seed companies. I personally purchase all of them with my own money because I like their practices, the people that work for their companies, and I like how their customer service is, and not to mention the germination rate of their seeds. Duh. You want to buy something that grows. So first up is MI Gardener. Luke and Cindy have a really awesome company here, and like I said earlier, they are the most economical choice to stock up on seeds if you haven't done it or if you're on a low budget. Uh, last year, their seeds were a dollar a packet. And when I say a dollar a packet, I don't mean a um, dollar for like maybe 10, 5, 15, 20 seeds. I'm saying a dollar a packet for like anywhere from 50 to 200 seeds, depending on the seed and how big it is. They put, a, they put a lot in here. They're very generous, very kind, and they have amazing customer service. Also, like I stated earlier, they've had to double it. So it's not $1, it's now $2 a packet. But they have to do what they have to do, and it's still the best economical price and economical option out there, especially if you are realizing that you need to start a garden and you don't have a whole lot of funds. You can get an entire seed collection for $100, even now, or $150 or $200, you can get a ton of seeds. So a couple of my favorites that I have from MI Gardener consists of the pork chop tomato, the pepper, sugar snap peas, that, yeah, I can never pronounce that correctly, okay, but it's that weird pointy tip broccoli thing. Uh, the Kentucky Wonder Pea, uh, the Russian Tarragon, Thai Basil, Catnip, Mammoth Basil, Chervil, 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 Fava bean, yard long bean. This is a really awesome uh, lettuce. It's an Asian lettuce and it's really cold hardy. So I purchased that. Some more, more tomato. I, this is the only green tomato that I have, which is great because you can make fried green tomatoes. Cabbage, um, the Bloomsdale long standing spinach. This is so good when it is grown home, like homegrown. Homegrown is delicious. Uh, Swiss chard, the Detroit dark beet, really, really good. It's really close to the bull's blood beet. Super dark, amazing anthocyanins. This is great for you. Radish, and I love this packaging. It's beautiful. I don't know if they like made a vintage line or if this was like part of their their seed packets earlier, but I love it. And if you guys could, you know, do more of those seed packets, those are like would be really cool. Just saying. So the next uh, seed company is Fruition Seeds. I don't have a whole lot from her. I basically just have kales and collard greens only because um, her seed 
packets are a bit more on the spendier side. They're anywhere from $2.75 to $4, but I really do like her germination rate. They're definitely worth the extra couple dollars per seed packet. Okay, the next one is Baker Creek, my absolute favorite out of all of these. As you can see to the uh, side of me here is there is a ton of their seed packets. Okay, these guys are anywhere from $2.25 to $4 a seed packet. It's a bit more spendy, but you definitely get rare varieties. These are my favorites, obviously, for their packaging and because I've personally grown them and they've turned out really awesome. This is the Santa Fe um, Pepper. I love this packaging. I love it. These Cosmos are really pretty. Um, the herbs, I have tons of herbs from them, pretty much in alphabetical herb list from Baker Creek. The purple cauliflower, the onion, dazzling blue kale, those are really pretty. The Mizuna pink, um, that is a frost hardy um, Asian green. The rhubarb, how beautiful is that packaging? I mean, it's really just pretty, right? Um, the spinach, the Merlot Nero, the China Rose Radish. These are so fun to grow and they're huge. And these guys are all really, really, they're, I don't know if you can see them correctly on the video here, but they're a dark purple. So a ton of anthocyanins here in these radishes and they're like perfect to ferment. Now, like I stated earlier, um, Baker Creek actually has a bulk seed website. I will link it in the description box below. However, it has been under construction for the last 10 plus months. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to purchase these at any time watching this video. Definitely give it a click and check it out and see if it's open, ready for purchase. But the bulk seeds that I got from them are the Green Beauty Snow Pea, the Yodfa Broccoli, Black Tail Mountain Watermelon, German Pink Tomato, Rocky Top Lettuce Salad Mix. This is amazing and this lettuce tastes like butter. You literally don't even need that much salad dressing when you eat this lettuce. It's delicious. Purple Lady Bok Choy. Green Mountain Winter Celtus. <laughs> it's a lettuce, kind of like kale, but sweet like lettuce. But it's great for um, growing in northern climates when it's cold. The last one, I'm going to butcher the name, but it's the J-I-B-A-I -I Cucumber. If I haven't said a seed company name that you guys like, please stop and let me know in the comments where you guys like to purchase your seeds. I would love to check out more seed companies and make sure they have an availability for me to maybe just top off my seed bank here. I would appreciate it. Thank you. So the next seed company is Hudson Valley Seeds. They are known for their beautiful seed packets as I have some here to show you right now. These are all the ones that I didn't know I would like and so I purchased just a small amount, but they do have bulk items, or bulk purchase, bulk options, okay? So this is really good. You can buy them by the ounce and get hundreds of seeds. The ones that I bought in bulk are the, mm -hmm, a beet right here. It is a longer, um, easy to peel beet that kind of looks like a carrot, but we really like beets here and um, they're really delicious to ferment. So I purchased this in bulk. The next one I got um, from them in bulk is the purple plum radish. The Bloomsdale spinach, I talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, I really like the spinach, so I took the advantage of buying a little bit more seeds here. Okay, some of the really beautiful seed art packets that I have is the sage. Isn't this beautiful? The Nuzaki Chinese cabbage. The salad saber, this is really awesome the all stars kale mix the honey honey nut squash the silver slicer cucumber these were awesome and i grew these i actually gave some um transplants to a friend and they are really pretty they were really pretty in her garden the next one is blue jade sweet corn i liked this one and i purchased it based on the description on their um, website because this only grows to about four feet tall a corn it does only grow one to two ears but that's pretty typical for corn and um one to two ears 
per stock. Um, but that's pretty typical anyways. And it's perfect for first time homesteaders. So, and plus it's blue corn. And when you steam it, it's supposed to like turn turquoise. That's really cool. The other thing I like about Hudson Valley Seed Co. is that they have these really awesome meadow mix boxes. They're about $10. I don't know how much they are now, but last time I purchased them, they're about $10. And it's really awesome for you to get wildflowers into your yard to help pollinators come through and pollinate your garden. Hudson Valley Seed, their packets range around $3 plus each. But again, you can purchase them in bulk by ounce. Last but not least is True Leaf. They are a microgreen, pr primarily microgreen um, seed company. And we really like the basic salad mix and the cilantro microgreens. Also on their website, they have the handy pantry microgreens. These are all the ones that you can find basically in your natural food stores around the country. And you can buy them in bigger packages. Now I wanna know about you. Do you have this many seeds? Is this a little too crazy? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys like this video. It was a really awesome topic. I hope you enjoyed the topic. If you know someone who needs to see this video, maybe they're a little skeptical on purchasing seeds, please share this video with them. As always, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get alerts when I put up a new video. I'm gonna really try to put out videos weekly, so I want you to be able to see the content that I do put out. Thanks so much for watching guys. And if you want to see all of my seed packets in time-lapse order, so you can see exactly what I have, head over to my Instagram at back to Prairie living, and you can see more of my day to day life and more of these seed packets. Bye. God bless.